Hello, Continuous Liners. This is Megan Burns. Thanks so much for checking out this video. You're about to watch one of my recent uh, Continuous Line Fundamentals class, which lasts just over an hour. I keep it to a pretty tight schedule. We get in, we do our Continuous Line warm-ups. For that, you're gonna need some, some just some copy paper, right? And I find mine in a book. It's literally just cheap copy paper. With that, for my warm-ups, I use a big pen or I use a Sharpie, depending on my mood. So these are the items that you need for the continuous line warm-ups that we start each session with. And then for the 15-minute uh, drawings that we do from photo prompts, I use middle-of-the-road watercolor paper, the Canson watercolor 140-pound um, uh, watercolor paper, right? It's not the best, but, and you're welcome to use whatever you want to use and whatever is in your sketchbook, uh, bag, right? Like I have my food, a fountain pens, Pentel brush pens, watercolors, saturated inks, whatever you is in your sketchbook bag, um, have that at the ready. But if you are just building your sketchbook arsenal and you don't have that, just kind of have the basics, right? Have your sketchbook, have some pens, have some variation, right? So you can start out super simple and then you can add to it if you don't have sketchbook supplies, right? This is very, very minimal startup, right? And so um, these sessions run Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays, and after each class, you receive the link to the recording that is available for a month after the class. So you have lots of time to review. There's a private Facebook group where you can share your drawings and see what the community has done. And honestly, this is just a really safe, wonderful, supportive community to practice your drawing, right? These are not finished drawings. These are practice drawings. You can practice your continuous lines, build your storytelling skills, build a community, meet a community, and just have fun in the process, right? So enjoy the class and let me know how it goes, okay? Stay strong with your continuous line. Woohoo! <laughs> Here we go, back to basics. It is June. And so at the start of every month, I kind of go back to our bones, right? I, I feel like this one is kind of where my default, where what I do when I just need to get, start making lines. I start in the lower left, but that doesn't mean you have to start there. I also did this with a Sharpie. So you can see that I have nice squared off roundabouts. I'm using my big pen now just because I like using a big pen for my warm-ups because I can get nice and tidy with my lines. Well, I found the uni ball pens at Staples yesterday. I did, wow. That's like, I'm gonna start calling this the Uniball Club because everyone is using them. <laughs> are they expensive? How much are they, Maso Menas? Oh. Gosh, this is terrible. I don't even look at the price. It's terrible. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't think, I think they're about, there's three in a package, and I think they're about $12. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Well, that's like 12, 12 or 14. That's Canadian. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I went online, and a box of 12 is like 20. Oh, it was Amazon. A box of 12 is like $23. Oh, okay. Uh, the box of 12, that's not bad, right? For a... I don't think so. Good sketching pen. Mine says uh, fine. What do yours say? Mine said 0. 0.8 millimeters. Oh. 0. 0.8 or 0. 0.6. I just threw the box out. Um, maybe I, I have, maybe I have a different one. This is Uniball Vision. Does it say prestige? I think that that's yeah, mine no, says no, I must have vision. a mine says elite. Boy. elite. Oh wow. Um, <laughs> Well, they do have a lot of other pens, obviously. Yeah. Right? right. There are so yeah. many there to choose from. And this one is, Elaine uh, was talking about has the 207, Impact 207, because she gave me this one. So it's Impact 207 uh, is the one that she was, um, that she has converted everyone to. This one just says bold, 0 0.8 millimeters. Oh. Well, again, I know they have... I mean, they're a pen company, right? So they probably uh, have so one. many. Mm. Oh no! Now I have more to try. <laughs> yeah, right. The never-ending. 
art supply thing, right? Right. <laughs> Becomes an obsession. <laughs> yeah. One more color. <laughs> but honestly, I mean, everyone in this drawing cult <laughs> is actually using their art supplies, right? Because I don't want to say oftentimes, but sometimes people buy the art supplies without doing the practice, right? Oh, you got to do the practice, don't you? You got to make the art. So... I say keep buying those art supplies because you're going to keep making your art. I just know it. Um, with the this being the first day of the month for the June continuous line fundamentals, I like, like I said, I kind of like to start, kind of go back around, uh, start at the beginning, Maso Manus. And someone asked me the other day, well, why do you do these line warm ups? I don't remember. So just to refresh everyone's memory, because I'm sure you're not thinking about it 24 seven like I am. <laughs> we do these warm ups where we don't draw anything and we just push through with a continuous line to the, strengthen the, our eye hand coordination. And to condition our hand, our arm, our eyes to just move through, right? It's literally just moving through. Oftentimes when people start sketching, things are sketchy, right? I, hence the name. And that's not bad. And that's a fine style. There's several, I mean, there's lots of beautiful drawings with a sketchy style. But in this arena, we are uh, aiming towards continuous line, which allows us to push through our drawing fears, uh, to comprehend composition, and to build confidence. And so I did design this curriculum around th those principles. And, um, you know, I've had people like, you know, at this portion of the program be like, what, this is so boring, right? No, I get it, I get it. And, you know, when you're dedicating yourself to a hobby, to a practice, you know, it can be boring, right? We're not drawing anything sexy right now. <laughs> urban sketchers like to be out there in the street sketching sexy things but uh and i love it too but i also have found great benefit uh, by doing these warm-ups before i head out and hit the streets so there's my spiel on why we do these warm-ups and it's also important not to draw anything so your ego can step aside while you're conditioning your arm because when you start drawing, when we start drawing, our egos always get involved, right? I mean, I think because you are artists and you're in this group, you know some of the, um, the emotional baggage that comes with uh, wanting to make your art and in the process of making your art. I think we all have days where we just feel, can feel a little defeated, right? That's just part of life. But if you condition your arm and your hand and your mind to just push through, keep going, maybe you'll have different results, right? Maybe you'll be uh, more proud of the drawings that you create. So did I lose everyone? Is everyone sleeping? <laughs> did you all like sign off? No, I see most of you still here. That's good. <laughs> Megan, I, this is Lisa Kay from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yes. Uh, what I have found is interesting, and I, I've just noticed it really this week. So I don't know, did it just happen or has it been going on? But as I'm doing my sketches outside of the class, I noticed uh, I'm doing continuous line. I just out of habit, you think? Yeah, it, mainly the outside form. I'm coming around, you know, and, and I'll pick up my pencil, but it's more continuous line than stop, start, stop, start, perfect the line, yeah. race it. And you know why I think that's happening for you is because I believe by conditioning yourself with continuous line, which means you can lift the page up, right? Like when I go to museums, I draw the thing and then lift my pen. But it gives you a good sense of like where you're going and where you've just been, right? So if you're drawing the out, outsides of things, what you're doing is you're spacing it out on the page for composition, right? And because uh -huh. you're conditioned with continuous line, 
you have this sense of looking forward, looking back and looking next to you, right? That whole witchy woo thing of so <laughs> above as below. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so bravo, bravo. Someday it would be great if you shared your art, Lisa. I know you have huge issues with that. Uh, I, I really don't. It's just, uh, I don't know. I, I don't care about sharing it. If I had someone be like, okay, go put this on Facebook. I'm not a Facebooker, but when I finish this little eight and a half by eight and a half, which I'm pretty darn close, uh -huh. I'm going to post it. Is that the, the San Miguel Street team? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love how the community is just growing there. <laughs> <laughs> a couple from Ireland made their way on the scene. <laughs> I think they were tired of the weather in Ireland. And yeah, said, let's go. When I heard there's a bullfight on the street. Yeah. And there's a bunch of chickens on the loose, right? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that would be great to see that when you get that uh, to the, your your place that you get things to. <laughs> As I was leaving yoga, I'm like, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna finish that damn piece today. All righty. Yeah, fun. I love to see like how how would the continuous line is like be becoming a part of so many of the artist uh, experience, right? Like I have said always, it's not my goal to get open to always draw a continuous line, but it, it, it's vitamins for your art, right? It's vitamins, it supplements, it strengthens, it uh, supports, right? So that's what I'm here for is cheerleading you all to take your vitamins. <laughs> have you all taken your vitamins? Yes, you have. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what you got here with yeah. your continuous line angular oh i see some parts very nice lovely lovely all right we're going to go right into pattern making which uh you know starting here at the beginning <laughs> we go back to the coffee cups right because coffee cups for me is like ground zero for continuous line practice <laughs> so yeah just go ahead and start making the coffee cups on the page I'm not sure if I like this marker. Well, it's not bad. I did them kind of small on this page because I wanted to fill it with so many. Because sometimes I could do just like seven and the page is full. Of page. So I really was like, just keep it tiny, me. Just keep it tidy and fill the page with the coffee cups and the saucer. Yum. This is ice skating on the page with your continuous line. I'm using a very smooth marker and it really does feel like I'm ice skating. Are you feeling pretty comfortable with your coffee cups? Yeah, I love doing the coffee cup. Who is that, Janet? No, Carrie. Oh, Carrie, yeah. Um, because you've been doing it for a while, so I, have you achieved sort of that ice skating feel? Yeah, it's totally. I'm like zipping around here. Yeah, right? It's a good feeling when you start, you know, skating, I think, right? So, yeah. uh, bravo. <laughs> Fun, fun, fun. And there's no race. It's not like you have to fill your page, especially if you're just kind of new to this. Um, just enjoy it. I go super fast, but that don't that doesn't mean you have to, right? 
So, um, all righty, let's see what y'all did. Oh, those are good. Those are good mugs. Yeah, I love it. I love seeing, uh, who's are those up there? Oh, Judy Boston's, yeah, on some colored paper. Very nice. Yeah, feel free to share that because it's always so interesting to see how everyone um, does the same prompt, right? All right, so let's begin our first 15 minutes drawing. Um, and uh, remember, it's not about uh, doing exactly from the photo. This is an opportunity for you to practice your continuous line. So it means you don't have to do everything, but uh, sometimes you want to, and that's fine. So first up, Oh, oh. <laughs> cute little. Um, honestly, in the first session, everyone looked like their panda bears were smoking cigarettes. So, <laughs> 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 um, but I believe those are bamboos, right? So, um, oh. you know, super cute. Just, just have fun with that. I'm starting out kind of easy. It's the first of the month, so. Um, I mean, it's it's not super easy. It's, this, is, this takes skill, right? So uh, just have fun with that. Draw on the three. I almost said four. <clears throat> These are pandas. 15 minutes on the clock and go. Oh, I don't have fresh water. They have super roly poly faces, don't they? <laughs>
Oh, I'm trying to identify which is Zoom birds. I'm going to say those are New Mexico Zoom birds. No, yes. No, <laughs> but we can call them that. But whose are they? Whose birds are those that I hear? Mine, I think. Who's saying that? I can't see. Cheryl. You. Oh, okay. <laughs> so they're um, Mexican beach birds, huh? Yeah. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Oops. Halfway point.
I think my pandas have been smoking pot. They're not smoking <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, like, Harry. It's great to hear you say. <laughs> yeah, yes, they've definitely been smoking pot. They're very, very sleepy looking. They should put some red in their eyes. That's good. Body bears. Yeah. I think it's a peace pipe. Okay, Ooh. well, that's maybe better than <laughs> smoking pot. I mean, when you said they looked like they were smoking cigarettes, I'm like, mm, not these bears. Yeah. They look suspicious. Yeah. All right, coming into the finish line here. You happy little high pandas. <laughs> All righty, and time. Boom. Yeah. All righty. Put your pandas aside. Get a fresh piece of paper. Get a drink of water, whatever you need. We're going to move right into the next one we're gonna stay in china because why not i feel like if we go to a country we should just stay there uh not forever but uh here we go 
So Whoa. we tested out our architectural chops with the skyline of Shanghai, right? And so I say these things even though I don't always listen to my own instructions, but don't feel like you have to draw everything exactly as is. I kind of challenge myself, like, can I get all those buildings in? But don't feel like you have to. Like, I don't want you to apologize if you don't get all the buildings. Your challenge here is to try to get a sense of the skyline with your continuous line, whatever that means for you. But first and foremost, I hope you have fun. Clock has begun. Oops. Thank you. 
if you get lost, don't worry about it. You're not that lost and you will <laughs> recover. But it sometimes is you get lost on these like repeating Masamina shapes, right? Halfway. straight line.
Anyone here been to Shanghai? Yes. And up that tower to the top of that, to the second circle where you can go out and walk out over the glass. Yeah. My son lived in China for a number of years. So. Wow. Who is that? We lived in China. Our son, one of our sons lived there. But who are you who's speaking? We're in Calgary. Oh, oh, oh okay. All right, coming into the finish line here. All righty, and time. Yeah. So, did you all survive your trip to China? <laughs> awesome. All right, let's see here. Um, Janet, let's begin with you. You're looking very eager. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let's go with Janet. All right, here we go. Let me pull you up. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, they're oh, great. Wow. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> I used yeah. a brush pen. Brush I pen. started over here and followed around. Very cute. That way. 
kind of did his where am I yeah his nose upside down but that's okay oh <laughs> I wouldn't have even noticed that right well, then, no brought attention oh, to the super I didn't do any color with anything today so oh, all right it's totally okay Someone in the first class asked me, so when do I apply the color? And I'm like, you don't even have to, right? Just a little FYI. No one has to add color. It's just a lot of people do it, play around with. So as you wish. And then this is, oh, wow, that's great. Again, no color, but. Yeah. And then my, my um, I used the Sharpie for this and that was crapping out on me. <laughs> But, but sometimes they work when they're drying out, right? You get exactly a, a dry brush effect. Where'd you start with this? Uh, I am. Um, I actually did over here. I filled uh -huh. in these little squares as I was coming around, but then I just went around and just tried to do all the buildings first, and then went in and added the detail. It's it's easy to get distracted by like oh windows and details, right? It's yeah. kind of the challenge. Like I'll oh, just keep. I do the same thing. But yeah, nice work there. I love that. Did you say this is? That's not, this is your dry Sharpie, you said, right? This is my dry, yeah. Yeah, very cool. Looks good. Nice work. Thank you, Janet. Carrie, let's go to you. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll do the, the sound effects for the pandas. Oh, please do. Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on? They do look a little stoned. Yeah, they're definitely stunned. Yeah. I mean, they're they're just hanging out. Having yeah, but a great they're time, super you know, cute. They are grooving on the, on the bamboo. On the bamboo. Where did you start? Where did you jump? I in? started I love that off center too, uh, Carrie. That worked. Yeah. There, I started here and did his ears and came around and then did this guy, you know, sort of did the outline that way and then came back and sort of filled in their arms and their mouths. And then I did lift my pen to then do their eyes and yeah. noses. Um, and I did, I just did watercolor for the bamboo. Yeah. Um, I, I but love I that had effect. used, a, I had used like a, you know, a little fine liner, whatever these are. And then I did use the what brush is it? pen. What, what to, is it? Oh, you mean to draw them, not the- Yeah, the, to draw them. Yeah. And then I did use a brush pen to fill in the black. Yeah. Um, but yeah, dude, you know, they're having a great time. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's get down. And then here's my- um, uh -huh. And yeah. I started over here and sort of did, 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 did all the, and then I realized, oh God, it'll take me forever to do all these fucking window, pardon, <laughs> windows. And so then I just, I actually sort of did a, you know, up and I, I mean, yeah. I did all the upper part and then came back and sort of filled in. Yeah. So you um, did like an, a contour of the sky. Right. Yeah. Right. Except for this one. Um, and then I, or wait, I started here, but I did draw this, the big line of the, you know, between the border and then came back and did the outline. Yeah. Um, so, it's all right. Yeah, nice work. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. Uh, Judy Boston. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Judy. Yeah. How you doing? I used, oh. a, I used a very fast oh. Sharpie. And I went very fast, so I just kept going and added pandas. <laughs> oh, my God. I want to just applaud that, Judy, because, look, you could yeah. just tell you were just going with it, right? You're um, like, I'm just yes. going to fill this with pandas. Well, and it was a big, fat Sharpie. So like, how just, fat? How is it one of those super fat ones, or which one? I don't know. I have a whole bunch oh, of Oh, yeah, them. those. Yeah. And, look, you've got, like, a... Um, a wide piece of like kind of an unusual piece of paper there size wise right well yes i'm using the backs of things that i absolutely don't like yeah and then my i got lost again using the sharpie and i'm oh, using a, the yeah. back of a yeah. so it had a lot of color in it and i started over here and I tried to do just the contour. And yeah. then I got total, after this, I just got totally lost. So I a little bit made it up. Yeah. I did some continuous line here. And yeah. then I went back and 
I love and, how abstract and, and it looks. It's, it's great. Yeah, but I got totally lost in did all you hear what? Things. Did you hear what Carrie just said? Can you say that again, Carrie? Yeah, I love how abstract it looks. I mean, yeah. it's really, yeah. yeah, I love that. It's very abstract yes. impressionism. <laughs> and I well, want to just... because I got lost. <laughs> and that's well, all right, right? I think everyone well, gets a little lost, but I do want to shout out to your strong lines. Look how strong your lines yeah, are. Yeah, I agree. Uh, well, working on it. Working yeah, yeah. On it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, Judy. Stay cool. I hear it's super hot out there in San It's going to be 92 today. It was 89 oh, yesterday. I it know. is hot. Yeah. Well, 90 then, here. Stay low. Oh, you too, Janet. Well, yeah, everyone stay, stay cool. All right. Thanks, Judy. Uh, Zoom user, Ricky, let's go to you. <laughs> All right. Here's the, Aww. here's the fatties. Oh, <laughs> adorable. Okay. I, I started over here. I'm using this um, zebra pen. I was oh. thinking it was more of a uh, foodie type thing that would bend. It's a felt tip thing, but it's more fine. Yeah, where is and that I, from? Because I don't, I don't know if I've heard that. Is that an Amazon thing, or is that? Um, let's see. It's Japanese. Oh. I don't know uh, exactly where. It, it's got oh, all great. Japanese writing, and it says zebra on it. Oh, there you go. I don't yeah. think I've heard that before, yeah. but interesting. Yeah. So you started with the guy, the chubby on the. Oh, yeah. I went here and tried to just do the outline with a little bit of ear yeah. stuff. I kind of went all the way over and then tried yeah. to come back and do faces and eyes. And I did mostly continuous line. I can't remember. I can't remember when I get, went down and did the pause and stuff. Yeah. Kind of, they were all kind of connected as I, I went. I, I was amazed that I kept going with just continuous line. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so pull it back a little bit. I want to see the bottom too. Yeah, and I love how how you just like handled the white space, right? You sort of just mm -hmm. yeah, very nice. I wasn't sure about that, and then then went up somehow. I guess was over here when I started doing the the background. So, yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. work. Does it feel good to be back, Ricky? Although you been yeah, it does. It's fun to hear everybody and actually respond. <laughs> right? It, yeah. It's fun. It's good to hear what like people are using in the chit chat, right? I think the right, right. It is. It is. Uh, this one. Okay. Ooh. So, nice. Oh, let's nice. See. Let's see. Oh, I yeah, I like that. I did the horizon and then stuck the boat in, and then did yeah. the horizon and came back. Right. And, did the tops, mostly the tops, all the way across, and then this guy, yeah. and then came back and tried to get some of the some of the details in. I mean, I did more down here, and then I would add a line and kind of back and forth, trying to add some things that I noticed, and then then watercolor. Yeah, there was a lot of different uh, directions, right? If you start looking at the detail of the buildings, right? Well, that's where you can get a little like, oh, how much do I need to put in? But you did a nice job handling that. Yeah, not much detail, but just the, the outlines. That's, that's all right, right? The challenge yeah. was to do the yeah. continuous line skyline and you did it. Well yeah. done. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks, Ricky. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. Cheryl. Hello, Cheryl. Yeah. Whoops, oh, sorry. Spotlight here. Oh, look oh wow. Oh, these are nice. Adorbs. <laughs> I, I just started here and just, I went all the way around all their faces. And then I just I put some pencil marks in down here, but basically then just painted it. Yeah. I did go in and draw in this stuff too with a pencil. So. <laughs> look at their door, their cute eyes, right? They look so happy. Yeah, they're great. I, I focus on the eyes. I, I sort of like, you know, the windows, you know, if you get their eyes right. I think you capture them somehow. Yeah. So, and yeah. it kind of gives like, you can get away with things if you get the eye right, right? Because that yeah. really yeah. focus on that. Yeah, nice. And they look, <laughs> you can totally see their happy eyes, right? <laughs> Hang hi. I started. Oh yeah, great. Oh wow. Nice. Yeah, just, really nice. Thank you. I started here and then, you know, just all continuous line, just went across, added 
details and then painted some. And so right. what I want to just acknowledge is like, you went as far as the paper went and then you're like, okay, I'm done, right? You, uh, it doesn't look like you were like, oh no, I ran out of room, right? Or I didn't get all the, right? You just went right. as far as your line took you and then you turned yeah. it around. So yeah. yeah. I'm using a lot bigger paper. This is- um, It does look huge. <laughs> it is big. So that's a challenge for me to use it all up. It's um, 11 by 14 and I think oh, I started man. out five by eight. Yeah. So, then I did nine by twelve, and this is eleven by fourteen now. So wow! I would imagine by using that size, you really get in, like you're filling that real estate with your line strokes, right? Yeah. Right. And right. you can see, can you see how strong her lines look there? I know they're great. I used a sharpie on this one. Nice. And I used a sharpie on the heads of the bears and a pencil on the rest of the bears. Oh, like interesting. And yeah, stuff. their heads the focal point, right? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like the, one of those buildings is a milk carton. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. That's I know, true. right? I love it. I love it. Yeah, well done. Nice Thank work, you. Cheryl. Thank you. Judy R., where are you? There you are. Oh. Get I'm trying to use two new things today. So it's oh, wow. Oh. What are the two new things? Tell us. Tell us. Well, I got a Tombow mm -hmm. and, and the you can make the black run. Uh -huh. So that's how I did the rocks. I just used water on the on the black part of the bears. Yeah. So oh uh, yeah. Wait, so <laughs> are you saying you just use the Tombow on their paws, but then you hit it with water for the rocks in front of them? Well, I drew the all of them with the Tombow. Nice. But then I could make some of that black come off on the rocks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look so, how normal they are. So that, that was a challenge, and this was even worse. Well, <laughs> it was better. It was better, Judy. Not this worse. one I'm trying to use the Tombow and alcohol ink. Oh, my I'm goodness. My fingers. Wow. Well, now, wait a alcohol minute. Alcohol ink is insane. I, you know, I'm not super familiar, but alcohol ink, I mean, as show, it takes a while to dry, doesn't it? No, these seem to dry fast, but okay. they, I, I have obviously not got a handle on them the slightest bit. So <laughs> this is how you get good. a handle on it. You practice, right? So tell us what you did here. Well, I started with that funny, pointy, bulbous tower mm. on this side. Yeah. And then I tried to just go around all the buildings and I did some watercolor, but then I tried to use some alcohol ink and I don't know, pretty messy, but. I, I don't think I've ever it, seen anyone use that in this format. So interesting. Well, I mean, that big green circle, that's not on any building, but why not? It might be a reflection. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. There you go. So yeah, nice work. So you're using new tombos and hitting it with water and your alcohol inks, which bravo, that's pretty brave. Those are like powerful. Well, I've never had them before. They're these ones called Picasso. Mm. Where'd you get them? Amazon? Or they... Amazon, and they were the cheap ones. Oh, interesting. But when you open inks. them, they spurt out and Oh, they were all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I can remember, like you, you, with alcohol inks, you sort of drop it in and let them form shapes, right? Isn't that, or drip down? They don't seem to, they just seem to make blobs, kind of. <laughs> but maybe I'll get better, who knows? Yeah, I think that's the thing. Like I'm playing with my Poscas today and I feel like they're just a nightmare, but some people get nice results, right? So I'll keep playing. Thank you, Judy. Two right there in the middle. You're in Alice's square. <laughs> oh, oh uh, on the Oh, <laughs> I love them. Isn't that <laughs> cute? I started over over here. Right there, around the head, and came around and did the face, and then just kind of idea and then went on to the next one bit around the head and the same idea went around yeah went around them like went around each one yeah, yeah. 
Um, I would also like to acknowledge how strong your lines are getting, Sue. They're looking very good. You did a great job with that. Thank you. I just use a fat marker. <laughs> How's that? Are you using one of these like super fat ones? Like, no, this was a 1.5, 1.5, I guess, what, millimeter? I don't know. But yeah. honestly, those fat markers, they take a little courage, right? Because they're a little aggressive for some, right? And so you really are doing a nice job with that. Thank you. And then, then this guy, oh, I like this much. I started over here. Nice. Mm. Kind of went up and down you know around the tops and build yeah. it as they went mm -hmm. down here and went oh i guess there's a shoreline oh. and there's a boat somewhere in here and oh, then yeah. when, I, when i went to put color on it um i bite I, <laughs> I hit the wrong i was trying to do cerulean blue and i hit the turquoise instead so what <laughs> this was kind of to be the smoke and this was supposed to be a nice blue up here but anyway well, it does look like a nice blue. I mean, I don't think it matters to any of us if which blue you use, right? Mm -hmm. like no, it doesn't work very well with the other colors. That's all I'm just thinking. <laughs> no, yes, yes, it does. I promise you. <laughs> You're always so hard on yourself. Yeah, you wrecked it with that blue. You should have chosen the other blue. No, you didn't. Do that. <laughs> Thanks. I'm inspired with my paintbrush. You know? I mean, it happens when we're moving so quickly, right? We have misfires, so. But this is all good practice, right? It's all good practice. Uh, Lisa K, see, I can't say her last name. So I Hi, just... Stuber. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. So I took, <laughs> I did the panda. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is. I love this. It's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. I, I tried this to make the it streets of San Miguel, in case anyone. <laughs> yeah. okay. Oh, there's a couple from Ireland. <laughs> oh, see, I think she's been smoking pot. Yeah, yeah that's good. I tried to make him have a bamboo pipe, but it's it got blurred in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and try to work that. <laughs> this is getting close. Yeah, it's almost uh, the the neighborhood is full. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I did I tried to tackle this in continuous lines, and I got completely lost. But I started. I started right here to get this line across mm -hmm. and then I came down maybe and oh when I came across I got the ship and then I, I still was holding steady I uh -huh. kind of almost saw a face in the water <laughs> and then I came over and then I came up here like stay 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 and somehow I lost a few buildings and starting to get off with the ship and I just started just adding what I could from the piece um, so let me ask you, what are you drawing with? It's a little hard to see, but is that pencil or pen? Yeah, it's a pencil. It's pencil. So yeah, it's what I've been doing just for my own work is uh, trying to go at it just quickly, say with the pencil, with either a continuous line or my left hand. And just to get, this was all with my left hand. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. Just oh, wow. to get just to get out of my head yeah and, and then you are right-handed right so that yep. left hand is not your normal go-to yeah and, one and, and then for my own work what i'll do is i do pencil and then i'll come back with the 003 mm -hmm. this micron pen oh my god 003 that must be super fine huh? yeah mm -hmm. and like for the pan i use that and this <laughs> oh. Wow. oh yeah <laughs> And then what I try to do is take it with my right hand and then I, I'll fine tune the lines. Yeah. You know, I'll look at it again. So I'll do real quick first with my left hand or my right hand with pencil. And then I come back through later and after, and then I, I try to fine tune it. If there's a line that's way off, I try to bring it back in. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. So she's got a lot of different um, forces at play, right? Left hand, right hand, different mm -hmm. lines. And, it depends on what's going on up here. If I'm in my own way, I got to, I got to. Well, I will say just knowing, knowing you've been drawing with you for a few years, you're pretty good about knowing where you are in your head and how to get through them. Right. So yeah. and that, that takes a little bit of consciousness. So bravo. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, Lisa K in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Did we see everyone? I didn't overlook anyone, did I? Okay. Uh, let me get myself there. All right. So 
Yeah, this black is so black. Anyways, here's my panda guy. <laughs> I do with my uniball, right? What is the uniball club? And I pure continuous line doing the whole thing right across. And I'm going to stop using this black because it covers up my lines. And then I regret it, right? Because see, like even their eyes and stuff, it's hard to see them. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, mm. you know, so, with, but, and mm. then I got a little pink tongue action in all of them. And then <laughs> I put a little white crayon on here to get that sort of the bamboo effect, right? Mm. So there's uh, my pandas. Here they are from this morning. I used a Sharpie. <laughs> Sharpie to like do all the texturing, right? And um, so there's that. And then here's my Shanghai. Wow. wow. Nice color. You do a lot of that bold yellow, you know. <laughs> yeah, I like the yellow, right? So for yeah. this here, I'll show you this one this morning. I put a, a background wash on it, dried oh, it. Oh, wow. Used my food A started right here and literally went across and I, I, I got all the buildings in there. Right. I did I was able to get all the buildings. Wow. Right. So then I started putting some details of the buildings with my food a, and then I Ooh. hit it with a little brush pen and a little bit of my white Posca. And then I went in and just put a little bit more color in there. Right? Yeah. It's great. That's cool. I know, you know, really just trying to, uh, you know, get out of my, oh, I have to draw a proper skyline, right? And so this one, mm. I drew it super quick shape with a pencil at just this thing right here. And then I went in with my white crayon just on the buildings, nothing else but white mm. crayon. Then I hit it with yellow and red. And so I didn't know what kind wow. of, color, because when you put the crayon on it, then no other colors really, I mean, they don't sit on it, right? But I, that's why I did it kind of light and tried to have um, a variation, right? And uh, and then just kind of tried different colors to see what would, I don't know, just to get a different look. You know what yeah. I mean? Cool oh, yeah, cool effect. <laughs> yeah, it looks very. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and what are your colors again? A, a kind of ink? Well, this is my saturated ink that um, you folks in the United States cannot get, which is so weird. Oh. It's the Italian saturated inks. Mm. Um, you know, these are like $2.50 a bottle and they're super saturated, really. Mm. Uh, uh, mm. And then this one is my Daniel Smith watercolors, right? Okay. So um, my whole thing is I'm trying to preserve my lines because I work very hard on them. So yeah. I'm like, I want to make sure I can mm. see my lines. It's hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. These lines are pencil lines and crayon lines, right? So it's kind of a different thing. So I'm always just trying to mix it up, right? And having the opportunity of doing it twice gives me a chance to do it, right? So mm -hmm. do it twice, right? And so I feel like I win. No, <laughs> I just feel like it's really good for my practice, right? To just be able to do it twice. Yeah. Because I want to be a better better drawer, just like you folks do too, right? So we're all mm -hmm. showing up here for a shared um, priority, right? Anyways, everyone, I hope you have a delightful weekend. It is Friday, right? Yes, weekend time. <laughs> I'll see you back here on Monday. Thanks for being here today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.